Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous videos, I have installed a gigabit fiber internet plan and my ISP, which is FPT, provided me the G point ONT from TP-Link and the code E XZ000G3. So in the previous videos, I have shown you how to flash the unlock firmware for this G point ONT, which is this device right here. And right now, everything is working so far with my current ISP, which is FPT. However, I have another fiber connection from another vendor, which is VNPT. So this is another ISP in my region. And for this one, they are using OLT at Alcatel Lucent, and they have their own ONT, which is this one. So right here, we have all types of information of the device. And now I'm going to remove the fiber cable from this IGA GW040H G.0 ONT connect it to this small TP-Link ONT and then I'm going to clone some of the information of this device into this and let's see if everything is working as expected alright so now let's do it together before we proceed let's take a look so right now it is xz 0 g 3 right here and we can see that the Gpon authentication state that is 05, which means everything working so far. So on the network settings, on the pawn certification, there are nothing. And then on the ONU serial numbers, yeah, we have the default value, which is TPLG. And this is my current serial number. All right, so before proceed, we need to back up all of these configuration into a text file so that later on we can go back to the original setting so i'm going to copy all of them and then let's see the card holder type it is trees and the vendor id and then the serial numbers and then we have the ont the main shortware version this is the same all right, cut out of time trees, X, 0, X, 86, okay. 0, X, 86, and traffic emission option is 0. All right, so basically we need to back up all of this configuration because later on we are going to change it. So let me see, there's not much, okay. All right, so the Mac as rest, for the land i think we can also all right so very good so just want to check right now we still have a working ppv connection with the device and if i open speedtest.com i should be able to get 100 i mean 1000 or 940 mpv at throughput all right so let me go back to the text and save it, all right? So now I'm going to remove the fiber cable from my internet service provider. And as you can see right here, the text E F P T. So this is the fiber cable from FPT. The original one I have been removed from the ONT. So let me put it aside. So now if I go back to the ONT, I can see that the fiber disconnected and we have no 6 no 40x as well as RX. All right, so that is what we expected. Before connecting the fiber cable from my new ISP to the current ONT, I need to clone some of the information. And in my case, I need to clone the G point serial number which is this one vnpt 34 bb 2 c one all right? And then beside the G-Point serial numbers, I also need to clone the PLOAM passwords or the G-Point password. Or in some case, it can be considered the account numbers or the SLID. So usually your technician will provide you with some information like that, all right? So now let's go back to the ONT and doing the shortware clone together. All right, so let me put everything aside. So I will call this one stock 
ISP info, so FPT, and this one is e, the information on my VNPT ISP or the iGate ONT. So these are the information. So I have the firmware version, the build timestamp, the MAC address, the device serial number, which is the G point serial number, and the SLID. So before we proceed, we need to take a look at the current setting first. So you can see that the TPLG, if we change it to my case, then it will be VNPT. So this one will be my new vendor ID. And then we can see that the cell numbers of my TP link TP link we can see that the several numbers on my TP link exit 00g3 is longer compared to the several numbers on my IK ONT all right so there should be something we need to do first so let me copy and paste it together so if you take a look we have two four, six, and eight. So let me do it. Two, four, six, and eight. So there are some digits or there are some text right here. And let me try to convert it and see what is it. All right, so let's do that together. So unfortunately, right now I have no internet connection. So I need to connect to Wi-Fi to continue the setup. All right, so now let's hear a tone called hex to text or text to hex converter. And now I'm going to see what it is about. All right, so just copy that and paste in. And I have select right here hex to text. And we can see that it is actually TPLG. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight hex numbers is actually the TPLG, which is my vendor ID, all right? So now I need to do the same. I need to copy the VNPT and convert it to hex, all right? So text to hex. So this is the current output. So let me copy that. So let's paste it here and remove the space and then copy the rest all right so now on my new ONT I need to specify this several number and this vendor ID okay so to make it sure this one will be my serial number okay and then let's see what else the shortware version so right here, I only have the build timestamps and the firmware version. So not sure if we need to do that, but let's give it a try. And this one will be my GPON password. All right. So the GPON password sometimes is called PLOAM passwords or SLID according to your ISP, so whatever they call it. So now let me restore the Ethernet connection and then we're going to paste this information on the TP-Link ONT. All right, so let me refresh the page. Let's go to network settings, ONU serial number. And now let's do it one by one. So VNPT, the serial number it is one and then for the shortware version i'm not sure if i can copy this one and paste in but just give it a try okay and now let's hit save okay and next let's go to 
the GPON password. So it will be on the PON certification and let's pay the new GPON password right here and hit save. Okay. All right, so we are ready with all of the configuration and now let's go back to the device and connect the fiber cable. So now see the important part. Let me remove this fiber cable from my ISP. Let's do it gently. All right. And let's put it aside first. And now I'm going to connect it back to my G.0 ONT. So this is the TP-Link Access 00 G3 and right now it is flashing the LOS LED. So let's Very good. Let's check it out. So we can see that the point LED is up and running. So I hope that the connection can be up as well. And right now we can see that during the time we change the fiber connection, the GPON status, the authentication status changed to 05 automatically. And we can see the TX and the RX power. This is really great, okay? And now let me go to the network settings. Let's go to the VLAN settings and perform a VLAN scan. And very well, we have the VLAN information, which is 413 and 4001. So this is the PoE connection that I need to set it up. Before this, I already set up my PoE connection on the Geo's iNet Fling router. So instead of using the NanoPi R6S, I'm going to remove the one cable from here. Also the LAN cable. And then I'm going to connect the TP-Link ONT to the one port and then connect my PC to the LAN port all right so here it is now let's go to 192.168.a.1 and log back into the router and we can see that the connection is up and running we have a working PoE connection and we can see that the PPE connection is up and running with no problem at all. So if I click the modify, we can see that the VLAN ID is 413, which is the same with this one, PPE VLAN 413. So right now, if I open the speed test application, I should be seeing the new ISP right here, which is VNPT. And we can see that the connection is up and running without problem. All right, so we have successfully convert or modify our G point ONT from tabling the XZ00G3 to work with a different ISP in this case, which is from FPT to VNPT. And so far, everything is working right. We can see that there are different ONUID, which is 41. And we have also the different TX and RX power. So before ending this video, I will run the device for some days and then I will have a conclusion if this setup is working stably or not. So don't close the video yet, but let's move to the next step. So you may ask me how stable is the ONT working with my new ISP? Well, let take a look together. So right now you can see that the ONT is up and running for 5 days and 12 hours, all right? So we can see that the GPON status is 05, which is registered. And right here, we can see that everything is working so far. On the network setting right here, I have my PPE connection up and running on VLAN 413. So later, I will show you that. And this is the current configuration where I have the vendor EVNPT and the serial number is this one. So it have 
been changed. And then on my OpenWRT router, the GEOS AX1800, we can see that it is also up and running for 5 days and 12 hours. And on the network interfaces, we can see that the PPE1 connection is up and running for 5 days and 12 hours as well. And here is the current setup. It is running on VLAN 413, which is the same with my G.0 NT. So we can know for sure that they are the, the same connection. All right. So by this video, I want to share with you that we can use the TP-Link. So now I'm confident to tell you that we can use the TP-Link XZ000G3 ONT with or the ISP beside my original ISP. So perhaps you can give a try. And for the flashing instruction, how to jump your MTD0 and modify it to be an unlocked firmware, I will be showing in the next update. All right. So if you see the video headphone, the like, shares, and if you want to support me, please consider joining this channel on YouTube or support me via Patreon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.